Digital transformation is about establishing a new culture for the staff in all their daily activities, either revolving around digital or assisted by digital components. We are also talking about the performance or productivity of the staff where we can use automation to increase efficiency in their daily tasks. So then that will give them more results by doing less. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, Encik Yusri. Welcome to the corner office. Thank you. We're so happy to have you today. So uh, Encik Yusri, as the man at the elm of uh, J-Corp Data Transformation, I would like to ask, like for example, in the context of J-Corp, how do you define an effective data transformation actually? Yeah. So from J-Corp perspective, effective digital transformation is about establishing a new culture for the staff in all their daily activities, mm -hmm. either revolving around digital or assisted by digital components right? right so we are talking about when they are doing collaboration then digital will help them in the, their discussion sharing of information and also the other part is uh, making decision mm -hmm. uh, that will also be assisted by for example ai artificial intelligence and also uh, using our uh, data analytics we are also talking about the performance or productivity of the staff yep. where we can use automation to increase efficiency in their daily tasks so then that will you know give them more results by doing less and then the rest will be taken over by digital and finally but also very important is on innovation we expect that all the staffs can contribute and develop their ideas uh, to improve the operations and business of uh, Jacob okay so as of today how do you view the implementation and practice in terms of JCorp? So when we plan for our digital transformation, number one, we look at enhancing the infrastructure mm -hmm. of the digital ecosystem. Yeah. So I believe that part has already been completed. Uh, we have increased our connectivity uh, at the office. We have completed our migration to the cloud. Okay. So basically now uh, all the staff can pull data and information mm -hmm. wherever they are. Uh, as long as they have uh, internet connectivity. And then on the same breath, we have also established our data lake. Okay. So now all the data will be in one place. Okay. So that will establish the so-called uh, single source of, of truth. Okay. Now there's no more guessing which data is correct, which data is current and so on. We almost also completed our digitization of documents. So I believe by end of the year, we will have everything, all our documents digitized. So from the system side, we have also finished upgrading our uh, back office uh, mm -hmm. application. We have also completed our financial system migration. Okay. Uh, now we are on the latest uh, SAP, which is based on cloud. And then uh, we have also established our uh, governance and risk system as well. And currently we are in the process of upgrading our HR system and also our procurement system. So basically, when we look at the ecosystem, pretty much everything is there. So now that we have have established mm -hmm. uh, our digital ecosystem. Right. It's all about inculcating the culture mm -hmm. uh, among the staff and uh, to generate uh, the required analytics mm -hmm. and also uh, new ideas mm -hmm. that can help us to go further and come up with more things to do. So this year, this is our third wave of digital transformation. So we are looking at intensively uh, developing our uh, analytics uh, to help uh, our finance, investment, human resource and also our, our ESG as well. So we are looking at that and then we are expecting all the staff to contribute from the uh, innovation perspective. Uh, they, they have to use and, and promote the use of, of the technology, especially looking at the, again, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning and other technologies. So given all these transformation initiatives, right, how does data transformation helps to empower you know uh, the Jacob core businesses 
in general? As investment holding company, yeah. we want our we want our business to grow. Yeah. yeah. Year by year, we need to see improvement in our uh, business performance yes, and sure. also our operations performance, so that we can you know keep on contributing to the state and its people. Digital has already been identified as the integral part of our intangible asset. So we're looking at digital to help us improving our membina part, and uh, then that is measure our performance, identify the new business opportunity so that we can identify uh, opportunities when we can look at our performance, we can mitigate you know, whatever that, that we need to improve in a way that is fast and then with accuracy. And then on the Membella part, we also need to keep track all the beneficiaries of the people who are receiving our assistance and we need to identify the people right. and then also the type of assistance required by the beneficiaries. So, Cik Yusri, as the forerunner of Jacob Digital Transformation, how do you envision you know, the um, end state of overall transformation that ha is happening in Jacob and Group right now? The end state for the company, yeah. uh, as defined by our transformation process or Jacob reinvention, we are looking for Jacob to become a value-driven company. Yeah. So that is the end state. So at the end state, when we are truly a value-driven company, mm -hmm. we can look at data and okay. data analytics. Okay. That will be the integral part of our business and also our operations. Mm -hmm. Meaning that we can pull data mm -hmm. from within the group and from external party. We can measure our performance correctly. Uh, we can uh, do mitigation and that can be immediately be done. And then it can also be coordinated efficiently, uh, not just at Jacob, but throughout all our investing companies as well. And then at the same time, when we reach that state, we are always looking at new ideas right? from, from the workforce, from Jacob team to come in on regular basis. And then we can act on the idea and then keep on improving our business and our performance. So uh, what is expected out of our people uh, in keeping up with the latest uh, digital business practices? Okay. So this has been defined as part of the competency for Jacob Workforce that is that everybody must be digital savvy. Mm -hmm. So what is required is that they need to reinvent themselves. Right. It's no longer about performing their conventional tasks, mm -hmm. but now it is to integrate the digital part into their day-to-day -day activities. Right. So they need to, to figure that out. Right. And then they must be creative enough to figure out what are the digital elements that right. can be used in their day-to-day -day activities mm -hmm. and for them to stay relevant okay. right, in the business environment. So how to do that is that there must be a hunger for them to seek new uh, knowledge and then we as part of the digital transformation we offer a lot of knowledge sharing session in a lot of avenues right mm -hmm. um, and at the same time they must have knowledge at least on for example artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics so that is just on the surface uh, for them to be relevant in what we are doing. The next thing is that they must always train themselves to keep coming up with new ideas, right? So if they see there's an issue, mm -hmm. then there's, there's a problem, then they must keep coming up with ideas on how to solve these issues, how to solve this problem using technology. And we also providing the platform for that. To make all this happen, uh, they must be agile. They must adopt the agile methodology in their daily activities mm -hmm. so that while doing their day-to-day -day tasks, they must also keep thinking about innovation and how to incorporate technology into their day-to-day -day work. So to wrap up, Chai Yusri, uh, what is in store for Jacob Digital Transformation? down the road. Okay, so there are two perspectives on this one. Number one is for the staff. Yeah. They should be expecting more knowledge sharing sessions, right? They should be participating actively in all these knowledge sharing sessions. We will give the more opportunities for them to increase their knowledge. So hopefully it will be reciprocated by the action mm -hmm. in joining all these sessions. As from the digital team, we can facilitate mm -hmm. their ideas, developing their ideas and then incorporating technology into their work. Mm -hmm. But finding the areas of uh, improvement, it still needs to come from them uh, because yeah. they know what they are working on. They know the subject matter of their day-to-day -day activities so yeah. you know we cannot 
think on behalf of them because we don't know the nature of their daily activities. But at the same time, by doing this, then it will also contribute to their personal development. Uh, it's not just for the company, but later on, if they want to venture outside, people outside there will still value the digital part or digital knowledge and their digital experience. And um, for the company, uh, we are looking at generating more analytics uh, to cover not only our core business sectors but also on our core operations, for example, uh, investment, finance, HR, ESG and so on. So we're going to continue collecting data. We are going to continue identifying the data that we need uh, to do the analytics and, and making a better decision. So basically that will be the main focus for our activities this year. So, Encik Yusri, five things to describe Johor. Number one, the best football team in the country. Right. Uh, number two, everything is near. Right. You don't have to drive one hour to go anywhere, uh, like in KL. Okay. Uh, number three, uh, good food, mm -hmm. especially uh, Lontong Kering, my favourite. Nice. Uh, number four, everything revolves mm -hmm. around the causeway. All right. right? <laughs> And number five, the calmness or the serenity of JB compared yeah. to uh, KL. So that gives me the drive to come to JB every week. Exciting, exciting. So Encik Yusri, thanks again for joining us today. I mean, Thank you very much. There's a lot of insight yeah. and there's still excitement happening in terms of data transformation all around JCOP. So we hope to see you once again in the in future, inshallah.